Hi everyone, today we're going to create an easy mock-up to sell clip art on Etsy. Today I will be showing you how to do this. It's quick, simple and once you have this done then you will be able to save it as a template and use it over and over again for each time you upload new clip art to Etsy. So what you have already done at this stage is remove the background of your images save them as 300 dpi images without a background and uploaded them into your canva i'm using the canvas size of 2700 by 2025 pixels and i've created 10 pages so what we're going to do is this is our main page so on this you're going to tell the buyer what you're actually selling so hip art actually we'll do that in 22 images what are we selling we're selling cinnamon no actually stickers ng okay so i'm going to stick that in the middle that's now you can say you wanted to actually put that on a label So once you could actually have a label, you should go up and make that label same color, or you could just leave it plain. So I think I'm going to just leave that plain. Now what we're going to do now is upload some images, a designs. We just want to position them. So I always like to leave a bit of a gap on each side. Now, because these images actually are already like sticker style, I'm going to actually change the background color just so people can see that they're she already in the stickers. Okay. So what? we're doing here I just collecting a few different ones super cute I like to use about H on the page. Just have to adjust the size. One more. Sometimes when you drag them over, they try and get too big. So it's easier just to undo and start again. That's what we're going just like that. Now that's not really standing out, so I'm actually going to put, so we want a rectangle where we think we're actually going to make this white. And you can play around with the text, whatever. You can actually add your logo as well. So I'm just going to use an example. Oops, we're just going to add your logo as well if you wanted to drag down to you what you want to do okay so that's page one so that's the 
thumbnail that will be on the Etsy shop. So page two, I like to include circle. I like to say it's high quality, no background. It's a digital download and it's a PNG. You have the option of adding the transparent. So in here, if you go into elements, transparent background. So that comes up or that one and it it's up to you, but I think it actually helps people see that it's actually a PNG file. So what we're going to do now is add these images to each of the following pages so that people can see what they're getting. So that. I'm actually going to start from the bottom again. And I think I'm going to add the background. Now it says change to all, so I'm just going to do that to change these colors now. And change to all. Get another one in there. If you work from the bottom up, it can make it easier. Just adding. Six page. So super cheap to add to. Well, that was a different one. So giving people choice. A couple of different designs, each one. Now what I would do is go back later and adjust the sizes so that they look the same or you can, if this one's the last one, make that bigger, make it more a focal point. OK, 
briefly. So we're up to page five and we've used all our images. So what we can do now is let's create some mock-up so that we can show the pictures on different items. So you can actually go to Creative Fabrica and type in mock-ups and it will bring up mock-up designs. And then you can just go through and see which one that you like, what mock-up you would like to add your the clip art to. As you can see, there are plenty to choose from for all different things. So you can download and then you can upload them to Canva, which is what I've done here. I'm going to bring in a mug. And I might just do the mug on this page. And then I can go which one. I quite like the island cow. So try and bring it over out of that. And then we're going to... Just it. Now you could add writing on there as well. I'm just going to leave it like that. I've got one of picture frames, but we'll leave that one. We'll do a jumper. Try and drag it off that picture. Then drag it on. What you can actually do also is just put the transparency down a little bit. This one here, I've got create a card. Again, picture off. So that you could put, you know, some writing on that. What we might do here is actually let's add the T-shirt as well. Everyone likes cat. Okay, then I like to do one on what they will actually receive. So this is a digital product. You will receive 22 4,000 by 4,000 no background high quality. And then on the last one, you could either add a link to your Etsy shop. You could talk about your Etsy shop, whatever you'd like to add here. I'm actually just going to do like a thank you. And then you could put your logo or something like that. So once that's finished, okay, so I am not happy with these colors. So that one, 
change all. I'm not sure what it's going to change. So that one, I'm actually just going to. Come on, just make it a little bit wider. Change all. Bring that down a bit. And what you say there is up to you. I'll put that line up. And go back and just adjust any of these. So now that you have that, you would download as JPEG. Download it. And then you would upload that to your Etsy store. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Me again. I just wanted to let you know that if you're interested in Creative Fabrica, head over to my stand store where you can access a free trial or you can get a discount on having a year supply of images from Creative Fabrica. Head over to my stand store. Links in the description. Thank you. Bye.